Hey everybody, uh, this is our last lesson on parabolas. Yippee! Okay, so don't forget all your lessons can be found at mrmathblog.com. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. These are our application problems. So here we have a cable for a suspension bridge and it's modeled by this equation right here. Y equals Y is your up and down movement x is your left and right movement so can you see this uh, suspension uh, cable right here going down and then it comes back up it makes a parabola doing that okay and so x is our horizontal distance and feet from the support tower and y is the height and feet of the, above the bridge what how far is the lowest point of the cable well the lowest point is that vertex point so this is like x minus 0 squared and here's our y minus k okay so so the vertex is at 0 63 so the lowest point is always your y coordinate it's going to be that y equals that 63 right there okay so 63 feet above the bridge okay so can you see that uh, cable going down and then coming back up all right so here's another one. A football team needs one more field goal to win the game. The goal post of the ball must clear a, a 10 foot uh, uh, goal post uh, that's uh, 10 feet off the ground. Okay. So the path of the football uh, after it's kicked for a 35 yard uh, field goal is given by this equation. Okay. So here's the field goal. It goes when it starts going up then it comes back down it makes a negative parabola that's why that's negative right there okay y is the height x is the total distance right here how much it goes left and right okay so this is in terms of yards so this 10 feet is 3.3 yards so they want to know does the team win so let's exclude uh, whether the left and right part, if it goes through the goal post left and right, we just want to know, is he going to make it uh, uh, with this 35-yard field goal, okay? All right, so 35 yards is going to be plugged in right there for X because that's an X movement as we go. Okay, so here we go. Let's go ahead and plug that in. So X is your horizontal distance, so we're going to have uh, that when we plug in 35 in for X. So 35 minus 20 is 15, and 15 squared is 225. And so when we crank that out, multiply 0 0.125, negative 0 0.125 times 225, we get that. And then we add 11 and we get that okay so this is in terms of yards so this is how high y is how high the ball goes up so it goes up 8.18 yards so will that clear 3.3 yards yes so since it clears that the ball goes over the goal post and they'll win the game and this again excludes whether they made it through the two uprights okay all right, so when a ball is thrown into the air, the path of the ball travels in a parabola uh, equation. So it goes up, goes up, and it comes down. That's how a ball goes, okay? So here's our parabola equation right there. Notice that's negative because it goes um, upside down. It goes down like that, okay? So x is measured in feet. So what's the maximum height the ball reaches? Well, that's your y answer, and that will be up here at this vertex right here the vertex is at h k and then how far does the ball travel before it hits the ground well the ball hits the ground when we first start over here and then it hits the ground over here so how far is it going to travel from here to here okay so the vertex of the parabola is at that uh, h k 25 so the maximum height is your y coordinate of your vertex which is five five feet Okay, so when will the ball hit the ground? When it travels the farthest. Okay, so it hits the ground when y equals 0. So we substitute in y equals 0 right there. So 0 minus 5 is negative 5, and then we're going to solve this equation to find out our x distance to figure out how far it went. Okay, all right, so here I'm going to divide both sides by negative, five, uh, negative uh, 0 0.0125 to get rid of this, okay? So 5 divided by, or sorry, negative 5 divided by negative 0.0125 is 400. I had to use a calculator right there, okay? So now we got 400 equals something squared, so we're going to square root both sides. Don't forget your plus or minus. All right, now we're going to go plus 20 plus 20, okay? So it's going to be 20 plus 20 or 20 minus 20 because of the plus or minus 20. Okay, so, so 20 plus 20 is 40 feet. This is 0 feet before it gets going right there. So the ball is going to go 40 feet before it hits the ground again. So it hits the ground 
you know, at zero time right there, and the ball is going to hit the, at, 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 at zero feet, and then it's going to hit the ground again at 40 feet, okay? All right, so let's write a, uh, the standard form of the parabola that has that vertex and that director. So you got to graph them. Here's x equals 4. Here's the vertex right there. So if the vertex is right there, which is in the middle, the focus is over there, that means it opens to the left. So when it opens left or right, y is squared. Okay, so y minus k squared equals 4px minus h. There's p, there's hk. So substituting all that in, we get that and we get that, okay? All right, so let's graph and identify all the parts. I got two of these. Okay, so this is x uh, squared, so x minus uh, h squared equals 4p times y minus k. The vertex is at 0, 0. 4p equals negative 28, so p equals negative 7. So if we go down 7, uh, remember the vertex is in the middle. Since x is being squared, we know it's opening down because it's negative right there. The p is negative right there. So there's the focus, and the, the directrix is right up there. How much down? we got to abbreviate, okay? So what I'm going to do is uh, divide both sides by negative 28. So we get y equals x squared times uh, 128, negative 128. All right, I'm not going to go over 1 and then down uh, 128. I'm going to go over 5, okay? Over 5, 5 squared is 25, okay? 25, 1 28th of that is 25 28, which is about 0.9. So almost 1, we went down on both sides when we went over 5. We just have to approximate, okay? Let's go to over 10, okay? Again, I don't have any magic numbers that we can take 1 28th of that we can square. So over 10, 10 squared is 100. 100 over 28 is about 3.6. So when we go over 10, it goes down about 3.6 on both sides. Okay, there's our parabola. Don't forget your, your AOS, your axis of symmetry right there. Okay, one more. All right, so this one is, uh, this one's going to the left, you guys, because y is being squared. So y minus k squared equals 4px minus h. Okay, so there's the vertex. The vertex is at hk, so at 4, negative 5. Okay, and then, and then here's 4p, so p equals negative 3, so it's opening to the left. So there's uh, your focus to the left, 3, and your directrix to the right, 3. And then uh, we'll divide by, uh, whoops, that's a negative 12 right there. I forgot to put the negative in there. Let me do that. Gosh, I've been making mistakes every time here. Anyways, my kiddos they know that. So that's a negative one twelfth. I'm gonna I'm gonna try and copy that and paste that in there. Okay. Okay, there we go. Alright. So here we go. So one twelfth of one squared. I'm going uh, uh, up and down two and it's gonna be one twelfth of two squared. Two squared is four divided by twelve is one third. So barely it goes over. Up one, barely over right there. Okay, so up uh, up four. 16, 4 squared is 16, 16 twelfths is, um, is uh, 1.3, so we go um, from the vertex up 4, so 2, 4, it's going to go to the right 1.3, so right there, okay, and then we'll do, let's do another one, so let's go up, uh, uh, up 6, okay, 6 squared is 36, and then that one I can do, t uh, 36 twelfths is 3, so we'll go up 6, 2, 4, Four, six, and to the right, three. Okay, all right, you guys. Um, uh, and then don't forget your axis of symmetry right there. And then if you're in our class, I'm going to give you another worksheet. There's uh, three pages to this. So here's the first one. Here's uh, the second one. And then finally, uh, here's the last piece right there. All right, you guys, take care.